Grand Rapids is now the second city in Michigan to form its own land bank, highlighting the need to accelerate local development opportunities. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Those opposed? It carries. Today, the Grand Rapids City Commission voted to establish the Land Bank Authority following state legislation signed into law this past June, enabling the move. Land banks are public authorities uh, created to acquire, hold, manage, and facilitate redevelopment of property. According to Economic Development Director Sarah Lada Renero, Grand Rapids started advocating to establish its own land bank in 2021 with hopes of pursuing more local control over property development. We are a qualified city, so we are uh, more than 50,000 in population, and we also are are located in a county without an authority. Kent County's land bank fell away in 2018, so its property is reverted to the state land bank authority. In today's committee meeting, Grand Rapids Mayor Rosalind Bliss stated, I think the land bank is a really critical tool that can be of tremendous use uh, in our city to meet some of our goals, particularly around housing. Mayor Bliss added that Grand Rapids now has different needs. This current season is different than the past. When the Kent County land bank was in place, we were at a time of um, significant recession. We had a lot of foreclosures. Five members of the city's Brownfield Redevelopment Authority Board will oversee the new land bank. The mayor and city commission will have the option to pursue a new board in the future. What we decide on today doesn't have to be what the Grand Rapids Land Bank is um, into the future. There can be amendments and changes made next year. First Ward City Commissioner Drew Robbins added that he supports creating the city's land bank authority to allow for more housing development, but wants to ensure properties don't waste time away in the land bank for too long. For now, reporting in studio, Olivia Yatuma, Fox 17 News.